Hello, hello to amazing people and welcome to another episode of Adventure Guild and let's uh, bring our Adventure Guild to its former glory by, well, recruiting people, doing quests, all that kind of amazing stuff. So last time, I think I'm at a point where Kat should finally go and fight by, bye, bye, boy, boy, bye. Um, let's see. Definitely. Let's check real fast. So, Cat Device is now a ranger. Looks pretty dope, actually. Looks pretty dope. We know the special arrow skill. Cat's probably happy. I finally trained her character here. And yeah, Cat's on her good way to have a lot of traits. Six right now. Dubious upbringing. Oh, yeah. Partners in crime. Experienced hunter. Some nice growths. Let's see. That's like really nice, 190% dexterity growth, so we're gonna be getting two points most of the time. Accuracy dodge initiative and some nice strength growth as well for damage. So yeah, hopefully we can like occasionally get two strengths. Oh, strength probably already pretty high, oh, it's 10, okay. Right, um, so we got, okay, do we have any assignments right now? No, Alisa and Elan are like getting their traits, which is fine. I was thinking maybe to just dump all the traits on Cat, but that seems like a little bit short-sighted, I wanna say. So we got a quest. Okay, let's see first, this could go horribly wrong. I'm not sure if I wanna save Scum here, but Let's have the option. So far, I didn't have to do it, which is really good. Just shows that game's nice. But uh, if you're doing videos for YouTube and to have consistent content, I can tell you sometimes it's really, really useful. Anyhow. So we got a story quest. Defeat by. Recommend level 4 to 5. Quest length short. Arena. Pai has agreed to teach her martial arts to the adventurers in the Adventure Guild. However, only on the condition that one of the adventurers is able to win against her in one on one fight. I don't really have anything else to do before I jump on to that. We have people healing up. My money is a bit harsh. So even though I would like to switch my upgrade to infirmary upgrade, I don't feel like I can really upgrade, uh, afford right now. Uh, so yeah, I rushed quite a few of these in, so that's pretty good. But now I'm like, I need more cash. Let's go and do the, the quest. Okay, the feedback, accept. There. Why doesn't she have any gear? Okay, well, we can give her some. Because I was like running other people, right? So, congratulations, Kat. You're a ranger now. As for the rings, I don't know. I know what should we grab for the rings. Well, definitely not magical attack. Oh, look, I do have a holy book. What in the world? I don't know. We have a holy book. We have another holy book. This one's pretty good. Hmm. Eagle ring, 10 accuracy, 5 crit. Let's grab some accuracy. Can we like sort these? There we go. Physical resistance. I don't think that's super useful. Oh, this one's really good. Physical attack and physical penetration. Okay, and uh, well, we're gonna cheat a little bit. Let's see what we have here. Five physical attack with five rounds. Mm -hmm. That's gonna help. Let's have some bandages, antidotes. I don't really know what I'm gonna be up against. How powerful the enemy will be, so...
Yay. You're happy now. Euphoric. The content of the holy book is extremely disturbing. We should get rid of it. Ah. I'll be fine. Medium Mage Potion. Plus 10 magical attack for 5 rounds. Some of these consumables are like super powerful. This one also. As you can see, I'm not intending to lose this one. What else might I need? No, that's pretty much it, right? Mm. Okay, let's go. What chance does Bai have against like a level 6 ranger? Let's find out. Three physical attack, five dodge, five initiative. Bai has acknowledged you to be worthy of a disciple of hers. Lucky you. Okay, she's just like standing there. Yeah, she looks like a monk for sure. <laughs> I find it funny how like there's this event we can start. In front of Cat, the wise stands by, cracking her knuckles. I hope you're ready, otherwise you're getting your ass whooped, she said confidently. Hearing that one wouldn't Hearing that, one wouldn't think that she was wearing a blindfold. Prepare for battle. But she was wearing a blindfold? What? Start a battle. Okay, let's see what she has. 130 HP. That's a bit unfair, actually. And she's like super fast as well. Oh boy. Close combat training. Increases the amount of counter per round by one. If character gets targeted by a skill from an adjacent enemy, they will automatically attack the aggressor dealing 100% physical damage at 80% base accuracy. Well, good thing we are on Ranger. Punch. Deals 17 to 25 as physical damage. Oh, dude. She has charge as well. This will be a hard fight. Key strike. True damage. Like the game says, recommended level 4 to 5. How in the world are you gonna do this fight with a 4 to 5 level character? Even level 6 will struggle. Water stance. Increases dodge by 20, increases movement by 1. Oh boy. Okay, we have these pillars, but... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... She has 5 movement. Oh my. This is some real bullshit. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we can use Shadow Step. I forgot my mana potions. Should I load or try to do without? No, I don't think I'll be able to do without mana potions. Um. Yeah, I forgot them. How did I forget them? I was looking at my items. Can I like... Okay, I'm just gonna lo load. This was like an honest mistake, really. Something did went horribly wrong. Like, I didn't pick up the single most important things, like mana and healing potions. Um. Okay... I don't remember this one, right? And this one. And I feel like this fight's really not doable with any character. 
I mean, you can probably do it by just spamming like potions, but I don't think that's the point. Uh, let me see. Armors are here. Okay, and then... Did we grab this before? I mean, she has true damage, so whatever. Okay, now we have the mana potions, healing potions. I was thinking about grabbing one of these, but I don't know. The plan was always just to try to poison her anyway, so... Okay. Well, I guess I didn't do it first try since I forgot my potions. Oops. And now I forgot to like increase her morale. Oh well. Okay, so we can probably use the pillars to like hide from her charge attack. If I go here... Yeah, this doesn't work. So I'm trying to see like... Oh, I only need to move like by one, actually. I can hit her from here, which is insane. No, I can't. Why not? Oh, I would need to use light arrows, right? We don't have an arrow which increases range, really? I still can't teleport behind. What's the range on this thing? Only three. Ugh. How do I even get away from her? She can come here and charge us. So like, I would need to like use shadow step and step here and then what? I don't know. But yeah, these pillars will be useful, that's for sure. If I had one extra movement, this would be much easier, I guess. Where will she come anyway? I think these two steps are the same, right? Because she can, like, come here or here, yeah? What's the cooldown on this thing? One. Is it gonna come back? I don't know, we'll see. Okay. Now she's definitely gonna be able to charge us. But she probably can't charge us if we shadow step, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, we can stay here though. Like, do we have range? We have range, good. Okay. That's a lot of damage actually, 38 to 45. And poisoned. Okay. We can also take a hit or two, but it would be really nice if we don't get wounded. Poison 30% only. She's very resistant to poison, apparently. What's her physical resistance? Oh, that's poison. No physical resistance. Okay. I don't know what exposed this. I think it's time to find out. Okay. Well, here we go. Okay, she's exposed now. Hit chance against this target is increased by 30%. Target cannot become hidden. Ongoing hidden effects are unaffected. Oh, that's cool. This doesn't really work that well. <laughs> Problem is, I spent all my mana, you know. It's much easier to hit now, though. I just can't. How do you do this without the the shadow step?
Yeah, a chance to poison her just way too low. It just doesn't work. Let's turn this off. And this... In the end, I'm not gonna be able to use it. Basically, I'm losing like a turn to hit her now because I put on uh, way too many effects. Shall step for the win, though, right? <laughs> Yeah, it seems like she cannot charge me when I'm invisible. So this is the this is how we do it. I guess the light hours are fine. Cuz that lets me keep my bravery high. So if I use this attack here, yeah, then I only have one action point left. And with only one action point, I cannot move and shadow step. So I would need to spend 10 bravery. It's probably okay, I can probably spend 10 more bravery, but after that I cannot spend any more. Well, I could go all in here, but I wanna. Okay. I wonder, maybe a warrior would be good against her with like, with this ability. Close combat training. If character gets targeted by a skill from an adjacent enemy, they will automatically attack the aggressive dealing 100 physical damage. And so basically, we just let her hit me, and we strike back, and we just drink potions to heal. That would probably work. He almost got me by. He almost got me. This kills, right? 45 to 51, yeah? Hit chance 95%, so if I use my brave heroic hit here, that's it. Yeah. GG's! Okay. Alright. Cool. But without Shadow Step, this would be nasty, dude. <coughs> Enough! declared Bay and took off her blindfold. She was grinning from ear to ear. It sounds like you're not all of your weaklings after all. She clapped her hands. All right, as decided, I'll be staying here and teach my martial arts. She looked at Cat Device and moved her face very close towards Cat Device's face. With a mischievous smile, she said, I hope you will be there. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> We keep our potions, which is really good. I was worried about that. Okay. Ready for promotion. Hey, eh? yeah. Hey. Just a little bit of, you know, side thing we did here. Although. What now? What was that? A little kid just bumped into me. Hey, kid, are you lost? Cecilia. How about we go and find your parents? Don't touch me! And don't call me a kid! I'm actually old enough to have a fiancé. I have, you know? Alright. You mean you're playing house with some boy? But what? How dare you talk to me like that? You, you... You stink! And suddenly I'm reminded again why I don't like kids. Hmm, whatever. I have no time to waste on the likes of you, so I'll let your rude behavior towards me slide this time. More importantly, I have to find the guild master of the adventure guild. Well, that's me. I am the guild master. What? I said I'm the guild master. 
supplier. As if a guild master of the adventure guild could be someone as uncult as you. And you should be guild, the guild master of the adventure guild. And how should the guild master of adventure guild be like in your opinion? Obviously, the guild master will be a highly respectable person who radiates grace and awe wherever they go. A prime example of a person for all the great adventurers to strive for. And what do you think adventurers are? Noble and selfless warriors, of course, fighting for justice and against evil. And who told you all that? Big, my big brother, he knows everything. Kid, I'm going to say something very upsetting. But what exactly? Your brother lied. None of us, none of that is true. What? How dare you say that? Noble and selfless? Did you know that people wouldn't let adventurers into their houses because they were afraid they would steal something? But, but they fight monsters for money. They protect people for money. <laughs> Do you want to know how many times I've seen adventurers skip town before they've done their job, even when they got the money? No, no, that can't be my big brother. He lied. And do you know why he lied? Because you're a kid. What? What are you doing? I don't know. What am I doing? Fiola, I found some lost kid. Trying to eat her. Eat me? You idiot. Do you know who that child is? No, but I get a distinct feeling I'm not going to like the answer. Lady Cecilia. From House Greyhorn, I might add. <laughs> Old rat, a noble kid. I'm terribly sorry if our guildmaster has been in any way disrespectful to you. I'm sure the guildmaster wasn't aware that they were in the presence of a lady like yourself. Right, guildmaster? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Finally, someone who knows how to treat a lady. You may be forgiven. That was a quick recovery. Lady Cecilia, we are delighted that you decided to grace us with your presence. But if you don't mind me asking, what is the reason for this happy occasion? I need adventurers for a quest. Alright. We should talk somewhere else. Alright, alright. Alright, kid, tell me what this is all about. Stop calling me a kid. Guildmaster. All right, all right, Lady Cecilia. <laughs> Lady Cecilia, <laughs> much better. For what reason have you sought the Adventure Guild? I want to save my big brother. What do you mean? As you know, the bandit problem in our lands has gotten out of hand as of late, and is believed to be the cause of a self-proclaimed bandit king. As a response, my family sent a subjugation force led by my big brother to deal with the bandit king and his men. Ah, right, I think I remember hearing about the subjugation force. But they failed. Oh no, who saw that coming? We didn't see that one coming. What? Yesterday, some soldiers managed to return and told us that the bandits under the bandit king's command were much more numerous and stronger than we thought. The subjugation force was completely routed. That's some rather unsettling news. I would have never expected to hear that bandits could become this much of a threat. And your brother? He's missing, but, but I'm sure he's alive. They said he was the one who called for retreat. He's still alive for sure. Please, Guildmaster, I know he's still out there. I need your adventurers to search for him. What about your family? Haven't they sent their own man to find your brother? They won't look for him. He is the fourth son of the family, so not important enough to risk more men for a search party. Yes, nobles, that's why I don't like dealing with them. My family wouldn't even allow me to hire adventurers to search for him, saying that adventurers are just untrustworthy low lives. But my brother always told me that adventurers always help people in need. I even heard how the adventure guild saved a village from the bandit king. That's why I snuck out of my home with some trusted servants just to meet you. That explains those people panicking in the tavern just a moment ago. Please, I need your adventurers to look for my brother. It has been days since the battle, hasn't it? If he hasn't returned by now, I fear he might already be... Is it about money? You said adventurers would help for money, right? I, I don't have money money, but... I can give you this. Oh boy. It's a ring that my nanny once gave me. It's supposed to protect me. But I don't need to be protected. I just want my brother back. An old ring made of cheap metal. Something a noble would be embarrassed to be seen with. Yet contrary to that haughtiness she was displaying in the beginning, she was still wearing this cheap ring. It has to mean a lot to her. Well, we're not gonna take it. Okay, kid, the adventure guild will accept your quest. Really? Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I mean, 
Of course you will. And did you just call me a kid again? <laughs> and for a moment, I thought she was cute. Oh well. What? You know that drink is probably not worth much and you still accepted the quest. I guess you do have a kinder side after all. Well, even if we take a loss on this quest, we can just easily make up the difference from the guild's master's pocket. You two are talking too much. Let's get back to work. We have a big brother to find. Alright, we're getting quests way faster than we can, like, complete them, dude. So, what do you think? It was a damn good fight. Your adventures are tougher than most bastards I beat up. I might want to get serious next time. So, does that mean you agree to teach them? You can bet your flat ass I'm going to teach them. And my fist in your face style are at your disposal. I hope you'll be paying my drinks from now on. I'm going to go broke, aren't I? <laughs> New trainer unlocked. Bye. Okay. So now we have a monk. Monks have dedicated their life to hone their bodies and spirits beyond the limits of men. Many have made the grave mistakes of underestimating a monk just because of their lack of armor and weapon. So they use fists and they wear light armors. Key armor. As long as the card has more than 50% SP, reduce incoming damage by 10%. Okay. Add an additional 25% of your strength bonus to your physical attack bonus. Unarmed combat. For next three encounters, increase dodge by 15. Okay, nothing super special there. What are these stat growths though? That seems a bit high. A, B, C and three Bs. Monk training, martial art training. Right, true damage. Oh, they have taunt. <laughs> and second wind. Oh, this is a warrior tree. Increases physical resistance by two for each point of endurance. Flurry of fists. While active on self, minus one AP cost of fist skills until end of turn. Very expensive though. Oh, this is where the charge comes from. Okay. Leap. Teleports to select a tile. So it's like Shadow Step, but a little bit worse, but cheaper. Parry. Okay. She was using water stance, right? Plus anti dodge rate. Generate 20% max HP as hit points every turn. More physical attack. But this is all so expensive. Like, what in the world? A, B, C, B, B, B. Uh... A, B, C, B, B, B. Two letters better in endurance and willpower. And A and B are like other way around. A, B, C, B, B, B. Okay. Same as assassin, N, B, other way around. One more here, one less there. Okay. So basically they have the same training stats as an assassin, but I don't know. I don't know. Are there any good? Hard to say. They're really resistant. Is this like what you should be using as a guardian? A monk instead of a guardian? What about a knight? A, B, C, B, B, B. Oof. So do we just use monks instead of knights? 
I mean, Knight, Knight is like a class which does a lot of damage, right? Also, this seems pretty good. The party gathers to formulate a battle plan for the upcoming battles. For the next three encounters, adventure start with one additional AP for three rounds. This seems like a really good thing to have. The battle plan. While Monk doesn't really have anything. It's like dodge by 15. That doesn't seem that good. And wait, like, does this class use intellect? It doesn't. It uses PAB. So Monk is not the class cat which uses MAB. It doesn't use intellect. PAB, PAB, Fists of Steel, I don't know, we'll probably make a monk at some point, just to try it out, but uh, it seems like a weird class, what do we need to train to be a monk, <laughs> so they're like jack of all traits, I don't think jacks of all traits are good by the way. <coughs> I like the stats though. Pretty good stats. Stats growths. So if I want somebody to train, you know. But I just like, I don't have money right now. And this is like really expensive just to train somebody, right? Yeah. Ah, poor board, it's really low endurance. C A C B A B A and Monk has B B dude. Monk has B B B and Bards have like D B A. But this one's a C, a dexterity. Oh boy, this is B. So this is the stats that like a bard needs. Dexterity, endurance, wisdom, and willpower. B B B B. And bar has like, okay, A, but then D, B, A. Well, okay, I guess it's not too bad. It gets one more here. It gets one more here. So that's plus two and two less here. B, 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 B. B, 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 B. Yeah, actually, they have the same training stats in Dexterity, Endurance, Wisdom, and Willpower. So there would be, like, no reason to, like, change the Bard other than, like, getting some Endurance. But And Strength and Intellect, that's not important. Although it could be useful sometimes, but... Okay, okay. Interesting. Um, so what's our next step now? Assignments. Oh. First Disciple, now that Bai has become an instructor in the Adventurer's Guild, she declared her desire to take on a First Disciple under her wing. She asked you to send a fitting, vic I mean, suitable student to her that can recover all the love she has to offer as a master. Okay. Oof, chances are pretty low. Oh, that's pretty nice. Adventure has become Bai's First dis Disciple. Too much attention if you ask her. Okay. Plus 25 dexterity. Not even cat is worthy. The success chance of the assignment. It can be increased by signing adventures with relevant stats. I'm pretty sure she has relevant stats. It's just a really hard thing to do. Oh, we can level her weight. I think these are bad roles, right? We don't need intelligence, right? For a ranger. And uh, 
I didn't get any of these two and they're both more than 50-50. This one's guaranteed. This one's guaranteed once, so we always get... These two will always get... The only thing that I did get is one extra point of dexterity, which is like 90% chance. So we're gonna reroll this. Much better. Okay. Eighty-eight percent. Okay, I think that's like decent enough. Uh, problem is, okay, these two are coming back from the assignment. So I was thinking about taking this group back out, right? Yeah, I guess so. This is very scary, though. Reduced to twenty-four. I was also thinking to just make a third group. And just do like an easy mission. Survive enemy waves. Oh boy. I wanna do this mission, but this is so hard. But look at the reward. I mean, the game knows this is like one of the hardest missions. So that's why the reward is so high. Clear an area. <coughs> Defeat three enemy encounters. The, the level of enemy is lower than usual. 1.7k. What is this? There are more lit encounters in an area. 2.5k. 1.8k. 2.7k. Actually, this is a good mission. 2.5k. Recommend level 2 to 3. Should be doable. Yeah, I want to do this. Clear an area. Um, if I'm going to do a level 2 mission, we could do it with this party. Or I could make a new one. I'm not sure if I have enough good adventurers for a third party, though. Like people that I would find worthwhile. She's selfish. I mean, Zachary is arrogant, which maybe it's okay. This one's actually useless on him. I guess he's fine. Okay, Zachary is okay. He's like okay for a mage. Good intellect, good dexterity for uh, like, like accuracy, and then some nice wisdom growth. So, also willpower. We don't need strength and endurance on a mage, mostly. So Zachary could be... This is weird. <laughs> Abby... Wisdom growth, huge. Yeah, that's not good. I mean... <clears throat> if you dismiss a person, like... We should probably start dismissing people which we're not gonna be using, you know? Julie, brave, impatient, humble. I don't care too much about that. Insights from a veteran. Penelope, popular, ascetic. Resilient, scarred. Lucky. Understand endurance growth, huge. 
Okay. Oh, somebody told me things, by the way. In the comments. That Magda would be good something. Uh, I need to go and check it. I forgot. Magda. You will soon unlock class which uses strength plus intellect. So Stefan Bertsimucha 8772. You will soon unlock class which uses strength plus intellect. Magda decided it will be perfect then. Okay, but what is that class? I mean, it's not Monk unless I'm missing something. Like... Yeah, this is like a purely physical class, right? Yeah, it's not a monk. So which one is it then? Who uses strength plus intellect? Well, there are two more classes I didn't unlock yet. So Magda, the, the say this would be perfect. What's her attributes anyway? Why is her strength so low? She's level 5. That's so weird. Maybe some bad rolls. I don't know. But I would like to like make her a bigger class, but I can't because... Oh, I think she spent some time as a mage, that's why. She has 11 intellect. Before I put her into rogue, a little bit too late maybe. Maybe she's ruined. This one can only be a mage. She could be a good mage. <laughs> Drunk heart. Bright. Another bright sadist. Pretty resourceful and organized. Okay, this one could be like somebody intelligent. And then got some leaders. Wisdom and strength. Yeah, this one could be like a warrior or a monk. Loves pain. So for more damage. Um... Yeah, I don't feel like I have enough quality people right now for a good third group. <laughs> so I'm just gonna send my secondary group here to do like a level 2 quest. I'll actually... Hmm. I'm actually thinking about sending Cat here. To get some nice growths. These are all decent stats for a hunter. I mean, endurance not so useful, but strength and dexterity is very useful. And then endurance might be okay. Just so she can take some extra hits. Sometimes. Which will happen sooner or later. I'm just worried about the 88% thing, you know.
So if I got like what? What do we need? Like we need like six, uh, 12 stats more? No, six more of these stats. To be like almost 100%. But like this is 88%, so it's probably fine. And I hope if she fails that we can retry it, right? How do we drink a potion? Oh. <laughs> Did she drink it? Hope so. <laughs> there was a gloop sound. There you go, 90%. So if she got to level 8, she would be like 100%. Okay, let's try it. And then, yeah, we're gonna need some cash. Uh, okay, let's see. People learning skills. My second group here, Clara can learn a new skill, but I think we are delaying that, right? Yeah, we're waiting for level 8, alright. Oh, these two ha can learn some skills. So I gave them dodge. <laughs> I think movement's pretty nice, but that's like a general thing. Not really good if she's gonna be a mage or something, yeah? I wish I could see what blind does. Probably just accuracy of enemies. True sand. That might be okay. Should we try it out? It is a little bit pricey. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean... What's this? I'm trying to save cash here, so let's not. Uh, right. What's the time? I did want to do like a proper mission though, so I'll do it. Yeah, let's do it. I'm worried about her though. Have to be careful. But like level 2 quest, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> this one. They're more elite encounters, yeah. Not that could go wrong. <laughs> I still didn't save equipment loadouts for these, really? That's weird. Oh, I forgot to check if these got, like, extra experience. Wait, what? Why? Oh! Loadouts rogue? I thought loadouts are saved per person, not per class. Crap, now I understand what I did wrong. <laughs> okay. Whoops. Which makes perfect sense, right? What's your HP? 66? If 
Physical attack, dodge, initiative. Ten hit points. What's your hit points now? Fifty. It's not fifty-one. Thirty-six. Okay, we're gonna have to be very careful with her. <laughs> I find that so funny. Uh, right. Okay. You're a bishop now. What are you? A knight. Ooh. That's why we lost the slot because she was trained to a knight. That makes sense now. Physical resistance. Okay, sure. Uh, let's out the sword. What's your HP? 50? That's fine, I think. The edge. Okay. Um, okay, we need to give him something. He's also kind of wounded a bit. Maybe I just give him the hit point ring then. There. There. Now I don't want to bring all of these. So these ones are just small numbers. Poison's kind of fine though. I want to bring my fire bombs just in case, but. attack okay I probably don't need that many potions uh, it should be good enough That's fine. You can be moody. <coughs> you have some of the best gear though, so you should not be moody. Eh, let's start, I think. I mean, I have a bishop and a knight now, so it should be fine. <laughs> so yeah, these missions, elite enemies, but hopefully we can avoid them. Okay, this one's not elite. Um, I mean, I don't like this fight because they, they are so fast. So. Maybe I like try to go for something else. Six hunters and one scout. That doesn't seem too bad, actually. You know? But like elites, does that mean they're like higher levels? Yeah, I think it does. Oh no. Oh no, crap. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, 
Okay, we're gonna need to fight this one or that one. I'm not fighting that one, so we're gonna fight this one then. Oh well. Alright, that's fine. Okay, so dire wolves are like super fast, but they only have 23 HP. They're like pushovers. Yeah, this is a level 2 quest, that's why they're such pushovers. Okay. Um. So I can delay, not sure if that's necessary though. Maybe better than not to though. Yeah, let's uh, let's delay. So the boar can charge from here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I can't have anyone standing there. is not enough damage. <laughs> Why does a level 4 rogue do so little damage? I wonder. Oh, I can charge from there. Actually, I can charge from here. One, two, three, four, five. So neither of these two spots are safe. That doesn't work. I mean, I could just go for a kill on this one, I guess. Ah, silly charging boars. try dodging how hard do you hit 11 to 13 can be dodged but this one we probably kill though right probably
There. Good. Um. Blind until next turn. I mean, that's cool, actually. He chance for him to exceed fifty percent. This is range of skills by two. Okay. Hmm. I'm so slow. Anything. Would be really good to finish this one off though, if I can. I think I'll be able to do it. Yeah, I'm just like a little bit too slow. How much do I care about not getting hit from it? Oh, it's just gonna die from the... That was a good hit. It's gonna die from the bleed. Nice. Does any one of mine goes first? Don't worry, I got you. You got what? Why? Where? How? Why are we going first if we delayed our attacks, though? That part I don't quite understand. But that's good. Is this smart? Because I could like just move away. To have the little boar come closer. But we cannot stand in this area this area so no we can't stand there either no but where are you gonna go oh this one can't go anywhere okay scrap that Vulnerable. Okay, we went from this fight unscathed. That was pretty good. <coughs> but now I do have an elite encounter on my behind, which is not ideal. So I need to like juke it. Oh, it's actually not moving. All right. OK. 
Okay, good. Five crossbow, man. Oh, dude. What's that? Okay, we can go through here now. Good. And I wanted to fight these anyway, right? Okay, so I guess we'll fight them. Okay, there's one more of those. Four direwolves. Okay, that I want that for my final fight. Like, what? Huh. Come on. Oops. Okay, let's take a break before we fight. Okay. We have nine points. All right. Uh, the party got us to formulate a battle plan for the upcoming battle. For the next turn, we might start with one additional AP. I mean, that's probably good, right? Yeah, I want that. What's this? Character bless another adventure in the name of their gods. For the next three cards, the adventure will start with two stacks of protected. I don't think that's so necessary. I think damage is going to be better. And we can encourage somebody. Let's encourage Clara. There. Okay. I can't believe how long we've been something. Time sure flies by with the right people, doesn't it? Oh, great. Yeah, I couldn't have asked for a better partner. Same here. So these two are partners. That's great. You should always use her to encourage her. Yeah, is it already morning? Yes. Oh, it's not going to move. Yeah, but... Oh, I can avoid it like that. Five crossbowmen and... So this one's easy. But the other one's like super hard. What's that? Four crazed boars. Uh, and there's like a... Eight grunts. It's probably a relatively simple fight though. Because they don't charge like boars do. But eight? Is it maybe better to fight six hunters and a scout? I mean, we can do both. I would kind of like to get to that event though, so... It makes way more sense to fight the boars if they fight me. Ooh, boarding talisman. Plus 15 bravery. So what's the event? The party met probably the brawniest man they ever seen in their life. A man they were sure of could snap a man in half with his bare hands. So buffed was he that the party instinctively got themselves combat ready. Seeing that, the buff man has just laughed and said, Is it there, folks? I'm not looking for trouble. The party eased up a little bit, but they were still a little bit uncomfortable. He started to eye the adventurers and smiled. You lot, you lot look like you know how to handle yourself in a fight. Would you consider yourself strong? There are some strong people amongst the adventurers. Great! The man smiled devilishly. You know, from where I come from, there is a custom to arm wrestle strong people. It's a great way to get to know people. So how about it? How about we do it too? Unless, of course, you don't feel up to the task, which I could fully well understand. It was obvious at the party that this wasn't about getting to know people and doubt that there was any place with that kind of custom. It was obvious the man just wanted to flaunt his superiority at them. Accept the challenge. Okay, who's gonna do it? Well, Ivy could do it. So can Clara. 
I mean, for both of them, strength is kind of important. Let's have Ivy do it. Hey! I have the resistance step forward and accepted the challenge. Seeing his ca his challenger, the brawny man gave a condescending smile. His face tells that he already saw himself as the winner of this little contest. Both of them started to lock their hands on the ground. On the signal of another party member, they both started to put their strength into forcing their opponent's hand down. The smile finally vanished from the brawny man when he realized that he was having a harder time to push his opponent's hand down than they expected. In fact, he was starting to lose ground. Ivy the resistance was much stronger than he expected. The brawny man tried to channel all his strength to regain ground, but in the end, his hand was forced to the ground by Ivy. Ivy raised her fist triumphantly into the air and the others cheered for her. The brawny man mumbled something along the line that it was just an arm wrestling match and nothing to get excited about. He stood up and gave a heartfelt farewell before leaving the adventurers in a hurry, clearly trying to escape his shame, seeing that the adventurers couldn't help but smile. Right, we got some BP, does she get a trait, please? Okay, nice. Arm Wrestling Master. After winning one or arm wrestling match, Ivy the Resistant has strangely become obsessed with arm wrestling. That's cool. That's really good for Ivy. And there's like five crossbowmen in here, which I really don't like. I did get the event though, so I don't care too much about fighting five ranged units right now. Would I rather fight eight grunts? Yeah, I think I would actually. Let's do that. I mean, we have to defeat two more groups, so I cannot, like, really. Ugh, and they also have a leader. Oh, boy. All stats except movement increase by 50%. Increases movement by one, right? Others just have, like, what, 36 HP, and they're relatively slow. Ooh. This is an interesting place to fight at on top of this hill here. Okay, let's delay. Mm. Would not bless her weapon. Maybe it's not necessary, but. Right. Hmm. I could maybe stay here with her. Oh yeah, we have more action points. I forgot about that. That's really good. That's why I was able to bless twice without spending too many points. Ooh, this one hiding in the grass is annoying though. Okay. I definitely feel like we should go for this one up here. How hard do you hit for, by the way? That's ah, not a lot. Okay. Clara. Ah, she can blow somebody up. I might not even need to use my... No, I do need to use my stronger attack. Okay.
Cover, power strike, down. Mm. Oh, this is a leader. I could use the heroic dodge. It would really hurt my... How many people are gonna attack me? One, two... I don't know who's gonna go first. Okay, let's not use it. 65 HP, surely that's enough, right? 16 to 20, yeah, it's enough. Hmm. I have physical resistance potions, okay. They should probably attack Ivy though, for sure. Okay. Can I take this one out before he gets his turn? This would be really nice. Yeah, I can. It is what it is. Yeah, I want to counter. <laughs> oh, I didn't think about the chain. That changes everything because now I can kill it. Oh, I died. I put one too many. Oops. Whoops. Oh, come on. Oh, well. Am I allowed to taunt it from here? I'm not, right? No, I'm not. One, two, three, okay. Does this one have a cooldown? Yeah, it does. Um... Okay. Uh, good luck with that dodge. Ah, shame. Just had to miss. I again took too many points. What am I doing? What am I doing? Um. Oh, we can use this. There you go. Never mind. Uh, okay. I 
I'm glad you are on our side. <laughs> um, surely. Come on, really? All right, there we go. So if I just move her, she's safe. Hopefully we go first next round. Hey, okay, good. Hey, that was clean enough. <coughs> Clara didn't get hurt. That's the most important thing because she's the most wounded. So, okay, now we need to do one more. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. We're not gonna be able to take all of that. We will. Nice. Okay. And then let's see. We need one more group. Not sure what I want it to be. So I was thinking this one, yeah. Was the alternative? Okay, we got some mushrooms here. <laughs> really? Oh, I had a feeling I have lots of stuff. I guess I, I guess these are not so important. Okay. Okay. Nope, not that one. That's for sure. This one, I mean, I guess I could do this one. It's only four enemies. They have a lot of movement, but yeah, let's do this one. Let's camp first though. Okay. We already have that, right? I wonder, or does the camping remove the thing? Let's find out. Well, don't encourage her. No. Let's also encourage our rogues a little bit. I hate sleeping on the ground. I miss my bed back home. You'll get used to it. After a few more nights, the ground will just feel as comfortable as her bed. I doubt that. My bed doesn't have rocks and sticks poking me in the back. Just think of it as a free massage. I don't think she liked that. Like, where can I see, like, our buffs right now? It feels like we don't have them, right? I feel like I could have done that a bit better. There we go. <coughs> have you ever thought about your past life become, become, before becoming an adventurer? It was the right decision. Hmm. Who hasn't? Yeah, just have a lovely talks with each other. We better complete the quest now. <laughs> sure. This one will be a wash though. Oh, look at that. This one actually reaches. Okay. These are really fast. One, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I just move like here. Ok, 
Okay. So yeah, we yeah we did lose the bonus. So if you camp, if you over camp, you lose the bonus. Okay, good to know. Go, Clara, go. <laughs> Come on, really. You just had to miss that, didn't you? No, why did I take five? That makes no sense. Again, I did the same mistake I did earlier. Okay. Oh well. It's fine. Very easy fight, actually. Okay, nice. Well, yeah, knowing which fights to take and which don't. I mean, range attack, <laughs> range fights are like the hardest, so. I'm starting to like the Radiant Blast more and more. Like, that AoE is so nice. Okay, I'm gonna continue exploring, but just to pick this thing up. to loot no okay we'll do this because it doesn't hurt to do it even though it might not work I don't know and we finish the quest nice pretty clean there's gonna be a little bit of wounds but yeah I took these just in case I had to fight some really strong elite fights, but in the end I was able to pick very easy encounters. Yeah, I'm pretty good on the map, I would say. <coughs> Adventures can learn new skills. Some Adventures are in a really bad mood, deal with it. It's okay, everything's gonna be fine. You never did get the break, right? Yeah, she could use like some R and R. Okay. So yeah, Clara's still on four, yeah. Okay, Ivy got one wound. This one got four, which is a lot actually. 
That's fine. Now they're gonna take a little bit of a break. Maybe not. Yeah, Kat's still doing the assignment. Oh, well. Alyssa, research assistant, has helped Magica with her research and she learned a lot from it. Has finished she helped Magica and from what you can tell, Magica was more than satisfied. Nice. And then Elan has successfully endured his time of abstinence and meditation. His behavior will probably not change with experience, but at least he knows what that with determination he can overcome anything. Beautiful. And then we got a new week already. Okay. A new week has started. Mikan has returned with fresh supplies and new wares. The adventures have been paid, what they were due, and new adventures have arrived at the tavern. How exciting. Frail. Okay, so next time we're going to be checking out some new adventures. Maybe we finally do put Fast Learner. Oh, this one seems pretty good. Strength, growth, all of the growths and wisdom growth. Strength, strong and wise. I don't know. Also, like you can see here, like some people get like these hidden things, hidden talents. But okay, video's long enough already. Well, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Things are going swimmingly. Uh, and I wish you all a wonderful day. Do something nice. Be kind to each other. And let's make the world a better place together. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of our Adventure Guild. Where we're going to take the next step towards bringing our Adventure Guild to its former glory. The Niemer signing out. Bye-bye.